Well, soggy and very windy out there. People are losing a lot of power. You know, uh, if you have plans to be out this evening, you'll need the umbrella, but hopefully it's a strong one. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll be out in, right? <laughs> yeah. No, in, in all seriousness, though, we are seeing those kinds of wind gusts. They're isolated, but they're strong enough to cause right. some power outages. Uh, the sustained winds across the region are on average 10 to 20 miles per hour. But again, it's those wind gusts that are very isolated but are exceeding 40, 45 miles per hour that are causing some damage. There have been some tree limbs down and some power lines as well. We'll keep a close eye on things. A lot of clouds and yeah, still some rain moving through. Looking kind of damp here on campus at the moment. Temperatures though, not too bad, right? We're in the upper 50s, but uh, we're going to drop these numbers for the next, oh, 30 plus hours. I think the high tomorrow is going to be right around midnight tonight with that cold air coming in. Some spots still in the low 60s at this hour, but a change is on the way in the form of a cold front. And that cold front is producing some heavier rain back out on the west side of the state. As for us here locally, we are seeing some light to moderate rain moving through the Lansing area. A few spotty showers to the north and northeast of town. Also down south as you head down 127 back west of Jackson, some light to moderate rain falling there as well. Nothing severe, and I don't think that we'll really see anything severe with the exception of those strong winds. Got very strong winds aloft that some of these stronger storms or heavier downpours, those might help bring some of those gusty winds down to the surface. So until this front gets through later on tonight, uh, we're going to be under the gun here to see some very strong winds. That's going to be our biggest concern, but beyond that front, we're not done with the system yet, right? You can see how large this area of low pressure is, it, it, producing this very typical what we call a comma cloud pattern, right? And you can see why. It looks just like a comma. And there's even what we call a little bit of a dry slot over Chicago right now where we're seeing some of that drier air move in. So once this front gets through here tonight, I think that we'll see more dry time overnight maybe even some breaks in the clouds. And then tomorrow, the back end of this system with this comma, right, will move overhead. And that's why I think tomorrow, a few more showers are back in the forecast. So let's take you hour by hour here on Future Track. This evening, some showers, maybe a few thunderstorms moving through. The severe threat slim to none with the exception of those strong gusty winds. But that will be with us all the way through 10, maybe 11 o'clock. As we head closer to midnight, all that action should be out of here. Then we look forward to more dry time and again, maybe some breaks in the clouds overnight tonight. But notice on Tuesday, the back end of that system starts to move in. Yeah, a few lingering spotty showers are looking likely on your Tuesday and it's going to stay windy as well. I don't think quite as windy as what we'll see this evening, but yeah, we could see some gusty winds. It looks like we should start to turn to phage on Wednesday. But with that being said, a stray shower still can't be ruled out Wednesday. Talking impacts here this evening, the biggest, those strong winds. The thunderstorm threat looks low. Could be a couple of slick spots out there, but by far the biggest concern, those winds. Could be up to 20, again, gusting up to 30, 40 miles per hour with a few showers, overnight lows in the upper 40s. Low to mid 50s tomorrow. I think that's going to be the high at around midnight. Most of tomorrow in the upper 40s, maybe a few low 50s and still windy with a few showers. More dry time as we head towards the weekend. Late Sunday to Monday of next week, more rain back in the forecast. Keep your hat tonight. <laughs> or just forget about it because it'll probably be gone <laughs> if you go outside. It's going to be windy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Brett, thank you.